Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Soul Diaries. So I got to Seoul yesterday. I know from my videos, it seems like I go to Seoul a lot. I think that's just because I do. Um, I didn't go at all though in the month of May. So it is the end of May now. I think it's May 31st or June 1st. Um, and I'm back. I got here yesterday and I hung out with my friends last night. It was a great time. Good girl had a late night. Uh, the clips that I showed this morning, that was me walking home from being out with my friends. So uh, yeah, I went to sleep, got some sleep. I need to put some eye cream on uh, because I feel like my bags today might not look so good since I didn't go to bed until freaking 7 a.m. Um, but I got some sleep, woke up, and I had a really kind of slow morning. I did like a workout in my hotel room and uh, I'm kind of now getting my day started. I just finished my skincare. Anyways, happy to be back here. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Adrian. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Join our family so you never miss an upload. I just make videos about my life here in Korea. I wanted to show you guys first where I'm staying. So here is my room this time. It is quite big and spacious, I think. Um, here is the little entranceway, my shoes. Um, and yeah, every time I come to Seoul, I stay with Butler Lee Properties. They have a ton of guest houses around Seoul and um, they're cheap too. So if you, there's all my skincare. If you are coming to Seoul, um, whether you live in Korea or you don't live in Korea, I really suggest staying with them because their spots are all in good areas. Like no matter where with them you book, there's always cafes and restaurants and stuff to do near these places. And they also do have women only guest houses if you are interested in that. This bamboo out the window, which I think looks so cute. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to book with them, I'm gonna have have their link below. Thank you, Butler Lee, for always taking such great care of me when I come to Seoul. Also, I'm obsessed with this bathroom, like this sink and the marble. Oh my gosh. All right, just finished getting ready real quick. Let's talk our plan for today. So um, I'm actually just gonna take today as like a chill, do whatever the heck I want day because pretty much every day this week I have a packed schedule, which I'm excited about, but it's always good to have some downtime, right? So um, as I said, I slept in late today. It's already like two o'clock. I texted a couple of my friends and I asked them like, what is a good place I should go to alone like a park or something and a couple of them suggested that i go to soul forest which is a big park and there's cafes nearby and stuff like that so that is my plan i'm going to bring my laptop and do a little bit of editing while i'm out there but here is my outfit for today i'm just wearing a black shirt and then these jeans belt then i'll just wear some simple slides too and i'm gonna bring a white canvas bag with me so yeah i'm really excited to spend it today with you guys and um i guess we're just going to head out now i need coffee or tea or something oh i'll go to a cafe later should i make a cup of tea real quick before i go i think i'm going to just make some green tea real quick mm, that cute little cup of tea Okay, so I made it to the forest. Um, this place is huge. My friends told me it was huge, but I didn't realize how big it actually is. I found this really cute little hidden kind of area, and there is like people um, picnicking and stuff like that. I feel kind of weird being here alone because everyone is with someone, but you gotta do stuff to get out of your comfort zone. Um, but I'm just gonna ponder and then find a cafe and we'll see you guys later. Okay, so we were over here in this huge park and I saw on my map that there are a ton of like cafes and just cute little places, I think right over here. So I walked up and now we're just going to do some exploring.
morning guys so it's the next day now um it is bright and early it's actually like 10 a.m um i am going to go get a haircut so i'm gonna go see my pal dean he was the one who did an amazing job with lightening my hair last month and um it's time that i get a little bit of a trim just because my hair is looking dead so i'm going to go there this morning and then in the afternoon i have my final checkup from my surgery that i had over a month ago um they always like to do like a final checkup like a month later so that's what i have going on today and then tonight i'm meeting cherry so that will be really fun it's gonna be a fun day um i just want to show you my outfit really quick i got this shirt yesterday while i was shopping i'm gonna do like a full haul because i got some cute clothes yesterday um i also got this belt yesterday um and then i'm just wearing these high-waisted pants that i literally always wear um but anyways let's go ahead and walk over to dean's salon luckily it's like a five minute walk from where i'm staying so yeah i'll see you guys when i get there treatment so they're letting this sit for about 10 minutes and i think it's gonna take like an hour for the whole treatment but man when she massages that shampoo in my hair oh. also i'm curious are the salons open where you live if you're in the states or somewhere that went on lockdown are they open or are they still closed <laughs> treatment the product at your home you, sh you should use that instead of a normal shampoo okay. conditioner okay keratin yeah shampoo even after use it every time leave in your hair at least three to five minutes okay. if you don't leave in your hair oh. it doesn't work actually okay. even the, the face the pack the mask pack right, 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 right. did Same you time. take off when you use like uh, after directly no. At least yeah. leave yeah, it like yeah, heavy, yeah. right? Okay. Got Anything, it. Any question? No, nothing. Thank you. So her name is uh, Youngsun. She will have a style for your okay. hair. Okay. All right. Just finished my hair. It feels so soft. I'm so happy I got the keratin treatment. And then also we just did a little bit of a trim, and they styled it my typical wavy way. Um, but yeah, everyone here is so nice. I'm gonna leave. Um, his salon linked below if you guys want to check it out and anyways now i'm going to head over to gangnam i'm also really hungry because i did not eat this morning um so maybe i'll stop at the convenience store just got back to my hotel i spent pretty much all afternoon in Gangnam. i went to a cafe for a few hours and just got a little bit of youtube stuff done um but i got back dropped off my bags oh i also did a little bit of shopping i'll show you what i got later um and i just changed my outfit real quick i threw on this cute little bandeau like top and then this 
crop top. I've been loving this style lately. I have the same shirt in black. Um, and I am going to meet my friend Cherry. I'm so excited to see her. Um, before I go see her though, I wanna stop and get her some flowers and maybe some candy or something cute because I missed her birthday. I wasn't here to celebrate her birthday with her, which was last month. So I gotta get my girl something. Here's a better look at my hair. I cannot like thank Dean enough because I feel like my hair used to be so dull and dead and he obviously colored it a couple months ago and now he did that keratin treatment and it's just so soft and it feels amazing and I love how they styled it. If you move abroad, one of the things that is kind of annoying is having to find like a new nail tech, a new hairstylist somebody that you can actually like communicate with. His English is so great and he knows how to deal with foreign hair because Korean hair is obviously going to be different from American or Western style hair. So he has tons of experience with all types of hair, whether you are from Europe, from America, um, he has tons of different clients. So if you are ever in Seoul, stop by the day's hair and go see him. You won't regret it. Is it K-Beauty? No. Okay, so I got this one from Too Faced. Can you smell this? It's actually so good. What does it smell like? So... Oh, it's like a plumper. Yeah, it's supposed to like make your lips kind of... Um, like that lip filler look. You know what I mean? But you have to wait like maybe three to five minutes for the sting. Like a bee sting. When we were leaving the last place, we asked these guys, we were like, hey, like, do you know of a good wine bar? They sent us to this place that was like 10 minutes away. Like 20 minutes, like it was kind of far. But the area is like a bunch of like, like industrial. industrial places, like screws and hammers. They said making stuff. Yeah. And so we were like, oh, they were just setting us up. Like they were messing around with us. They sent us somewhere random. I look over and I see a sign that says wine bar. We come up and it's like Halloween music. <laughs> so we come up. I'm like, should we just go somewhere else? No, we come up. We're here and it's honestly. What are we doing? It's a pillar view. Are we gonna make it out alive? Look at this. Yes, we are. We hope so. It's a vibe. It's a it's a Halloween vibe. Yeah, I feel like it's like Halloween candy. I got a glass. Of, okay, what should we get? A bottle. We yeah. Have a bottle. Of course. Got a bottle of vino. If we make it out alive, guys. Oh, they were sold out, so I got this one. Okay, guys. Not red. Not red. No, no. I got this one. Okay. Costa Vera Chardonnay. Chardonnay. So we went to, to we went to a place tonight. We were like walking around and we were gonna go into this like Pongcheng place. And they had a sign and it Literally said no, no, no foreigners. foreigners. Good morning, you guys. So it is like 7 a.m. right now. I don't know how I woke up so early. <laughs> but I'm here um, Yeah, I just kind of felt like turning my camera on this morning and talking to you guys What can I say to you down? But um Yeah, I just have a heavy heart like today the past few days, you know right now. There's like so much going on in the world And I don't want to stay silent about things that have to be talked about. Unless you've been living under a rock, you would obviously know that there is a huge amount of oppression that has been going on in the world for hundreds of years. This is nothing new. And a really innocent person was killed. Innocent people are killed every day, specifically in America, over their skin color. 
but obviously a more specific uh, police officer, someone that's supposed to protect people, killed uh, an innocent guy a few days ago and my heart just breaks. I want you to know that no matter what your skin color is, that you matter to me and that I am going to make it a mission of mine to talk about these things and call my friends out because if you didn't know there is a lot of racism in Korea something has to change because people can't live their life in fear every day or not having the same opportunities as others just because of their skin color it's disgusting it's 2020 and so many people fought for the rights of and over 100 years later i feel like it's just as bad if not worse. The thing is, it's like usually when there's something going on in the world, um, if it like puts a damper on my mood, I just don't go on Instagram or like I'll delete Instagram for the day. But that's not the right thing to do in this situation because it's ignoring the problem. It's turning my back on the problem and I don't wanna be part of the problem. If you are someone that has been in a situation and you've been a victim of racism, um, DM me and like, talk to me i'm like always a shoulder to cry on um if you've been in my dms before you probably know i reply to most of them so you know please like reach out and like i'm i'm here for you if nobody's gonna be here for you i promise you like i will always be here for you anyways i'm going to go on a little stroll uh just to get my steps in and um it's supposed to rain today, so I should probably buy an umbrella while I'm out. So, being outside right now, it doesn't make any of the problems going on in the world smaller. It doesn't make those problems go away at all. Oh, but this sure does feel so good to be outside walking. I'm just like walking on this little path in Hongdae. I got my little convenience store coffee and I'm just enjoying the little things. The feeling of fresh air and oh, just, just taking it day by day. So it is a rainy day today here in Seoul and what better thing to do on a rainy day than some skincare. Thursday night. Good morning, everyone. So it is Wednesday now. I had to think about that for a second. I think the last time I talked to you guys was when I was at the skin clinic yesterday. So that pretty much took up most of my day because after that I went to um, their office and I just hung out with them and I caught up with a couple people. So that is what I did yesterday and I had a really early night. I was tired after I went to bed at like 10 p.m. And anyways, it is the next morning now and i am getting ready to pack up my suitcase not because i'm leaving seoul just yet but i am leaving this guest house and i am going to be staying in an airbnb in Gangnam for the rest of the week i just wanted to switch up my scene whenever i go somewhere for like a week i usually have more fun if i stay in like two separate places so that is what i'm doing today and before i pack up my suitcase i thought i would sit down and show you guys some of the items that i picked up this week it's really just some clothes and a little bit of makeup i really don't have any summer clothes here in korea so i felt like i could justify myself buying some stuff um let's start with the makeup though so all of this stuff is from olive young which is like the main beauty supply here beauty supply store here first i needed a new concealer and i kind of just picked this one up randomly i swatched it and it looked good it's by I think you say Giverny or Giverny, I'm not really sure, but this is their 
Milchak Cover Concealer, and this is a very, very smooth and creamy concealer. I love it. It's super high coverage, but it doesn't feel cakey on your skin. And then it came with a foundation sample. So that was the concealer I got, and I needed one. I was out of my other one. As you guys know, I'm not a makeup hoarder. I hate having like multiple concealers and multiple foundations and all that stuff. Then I had picked up this, which is the code less is more packed powder because I needed a new pressed powder. And unfortunately I was really disappointed with this product and I already used it and I didn't ask for a receipt. So I'm not going to bother with returning. When I swatched it in the store, it looks like it's a very sheer powder. And then when I use the puff to apply it or even my Kabuki, it just is it looks yellow on my skin it does not look really the same light beigey color that it does when i swatched it um so i'm gonna play around with this maybe i can figure out a way to make it work but because i needed a powder i did go back and i picked up this which is from luna literally over half of the products i use on my face every day are from luna so i was like pretty confident about buying this and this is their pro photo finisher powder so this is actually like a white pinkish powder and it's just a setting powder you set it on top of all your makeup i really really like this um the price difference code is a little bit cheaper so this was about ten dollars and this one was about 20. um i really should have just bought this one to begin with but what can you do it's not like i knew and then they gave me a free little lip tint this is by lily by red unfortunately like this color i don't really wear I'm just not really into lip tints. I'm more into like lip balm, but it smells like a popsicle, like a berry popsicle. Oh my goodness, smells amazing. But maybe I will play around with it this summer. So those are the makeup products I got. And now moving on to the clothing. So first I got this floral shirt. I love these shirts. They're so form fitting and they either breathable, like you can actually breathe in them and um, they're cute. So I got one of these. These clothes are from a combination of two shops. So first is Kira Kira, and that is a shop that is in Hongdae, and then Brand Market, and I got the stuff from Brand Market in Gangnam. So um, from Kira Kira, I got this denim skirt. It was about time I added a new skirt to my pants collection. I also got this set. So it's like a tank top and a little cardigan set. So here is the tank top. And obviously in Korea, when we're out and about, we cover our shoulders. So it um, came with this really, really cute, lightweight cardigan. And like you can actually wear this and not be sweating because Seoul is so hot in the summer. So yeah, I really like this little cardigan it came with. And then what else did I get from Kira Kira? The next thing I got from them is a new belt. I only own a black belt and black belts don't necessarily go with everything. So I got this one. I really, really like it. It's tan. So it goes with a bunch of like summery looks. And then the rest of these clothes are from Brand Market. So first I just got a simple white uh, kind of mini crop little shirt. All of these clothes, I feel like they look so similar. I got this, which is another shirt set. So here is the top, and it's kind of hard to explain. I guess I'll put it on to show you guys. It's not gonna look good with this shirt, I don't think, but the top is like this. So once again, it's just something that you can use to cover your shoulders, but it's very breathable because it, you know, doesn't really clothes right here and then it did come with a little tank to put under I also got this little bandeau style top but it's kind of longer than a bandeau like I would definitely just wear this as a shirt um, it is this mauve color I think this is mauve um, I really really like this and I love the fit of it so if I can find more I definitely want to get more I've been wearing this a lot this week and is that everything oh I actually have Three more things to show you, but I got these in Busan and I just brought them to Seoul. Um, first, I got this rest shirt style top. It's just like purple and white stripes. I've been eyeing this shirt since I moved to Korea and I never bought it, I don't know why. So I finally bought it and it's just kind of my lounge shirt. Like I wear it around the house. I wear it when I'm like chilling on my computer. Um, and then I also got two of these little cropped long sleeve shirts. And I'm gonna show you how I style them. I got one in black and I got one in white. I'm gonna show you real quick how I style them. 
But yeah, this is how I style it. It's definitely taking some getting used to wearing clothes that completely cover my shoulders, but I'm just trying to obviously respect the culture and I don't want to stand out more than I already do. So um, those are all of the clothes that I picked up while I was here. I think I'm going to close the vlog off here because it would make more sense to start a new one when I go to my new Airbnb this afternoon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am filming a few other videos while I'm here, so definitely keep your eye out for those. And if you aren't already, be sure to head over to Instagram and follow me on there and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.